So our next guest is Kyla Charles, right? And yes. she's an American women's basketball player with the Maryland Terrapins of the Big Ten Conference. And following the 2018-2019 season, Charles was named third team All-American by the U.S. Basketball Women's Association and an honorable mention, Gary, by the All-American by the so Associated Press. So you have the honor of chatting with yes. Kyla and her dad, who's on the line right now. Yes, I do have the exquisite honor of doing that. And uh, there's so many other things here that she has achieved, and I'm going to go through it with her in a little bit. So Kyla, you are quite the illustrious um, basketball player, women's basketball player, and you have quite a number of things under your belt. When it comes to uh, this time of COVID now, how, how are you and your family coping though? Oh, we're doing very well. We're just at the uh, house staying in and being safe, but I'm still able to go to the gym and go to an outdoor court to work out and get prepared for the WBA season, still running and doing as much as I can to get prepared in the situation. Right. And um, you, so you're still able to practice? Say it again? So you're still able to practice? What do I do in terms of practice? Yeah. Oh, so I go to the outdoor court with my brother and still do a bunch of drills, shooting, dribbling. Um, I go running around the neighborhood to keep in shape with my conditioning. Um, I still do like a lot of body weight exercise. I can't get into the gym to lift weights, but I do a lot of body weight exercise. And then um, I, in terms of mentality, I read a lot of books to read my Bible to sharpen my mind because the game is more physical, I mean, mental than physical. So it's important that I'm mentally and physical. Uh, physically prepared. Definitely, definitely. And you know, you have quite a number of things under your belt. You are the preseason Big Ten Player of the Year 2019. You are All-American, honorable mention um, of the third team for 2020 as well. As, as, as well as a whole list of things. I, I'm just scrolling through my phone and it's a very long list. You know, what would you say is your driving force? I would definitely just say my family and my parents, they've been a big inspiration. Um, my parents came over to America with no family, no friends, and made a life here and gave um, everything me and my siblings ever wanted. So that's kind of my motivation because I want to be able to give back to my parents. And you said they came across to America. Where, where, where are you coming? Your family come from? My dad is from Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom is from Antigua and Barbuda. Wonderful. Right, so, yeah. so we have the entire Caribbean represented uh, in yeah. you, through you, and you've been, you've been doing so well. Uh, what would you say, um, you know, looking forward to the other side of COVID, what, what, what do you think you would be doing with yourself? Um, after? On the, when, it, when we are out of this pandemic crisis, what do you see yourself doing in the near future? Well, I'll be playing with the Connecticut Suns, the WNBA team. Once everything is back to normal, I'll probably head up there and then start training camp. And then we're trying to figure out if we're still going to have like an accelerated season until like in June, July. So right now everything's up in the wind because we don't have, you know, a solution to COVID right now. But um, I know that I'll be playing with them um, in the near future, getting ready for my professional career. Definitely. And what would you say is your biggest aspiration? Um, my biggest aspiration is just to be the best player I can be on the mm -hmm. professional level. Um, it's always been a goal to get there, but half the work is done. I have to make the team and then make a name for myself in the league. So um, all those past accomplishments that I have, doesn't really matter now everything is kind of reset and so i have to make a new name for myself and make sure that i continue to work hard and you know represent the charles name and yeah. represent trinidad in a good way definitely and, and how do you feel now like you know playing on an empty court you know since there are no games and and these things so how, how is it for you personally um it's kind of just going back to the basics this is something i used to do in high school i would run to the outdoor court and just shoot by myself and run around my neighborhood by myself. So it's kind of, you know, kind of resetting everything for me, getting back to the basics and just showing me why I love the game for myself and not for anybody else. Definitely. And I guess that's why you're so good because you, you know, you hone your basics and you, you keep at it and you, you know, you'd never skip on practice. And, you know, you're really uh, a great example for young people who definitely um, want to be, you know, as a good player as you are. And I just want to say hi to your dad, you know, <laughs> being from Good morning, Tobago. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? 
My name is Walter Charles. Well, I, I hear the strong the accent. training accent there. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been uh, in the U.S.? Oh, man, almost 36 years. Wow. Wow. And uh, what do you miss about home the most? Well, I'm home a lot, you know, but, <laughs> and, you know, I come to Trinidad almost every two months, spend really? time with my mom, you know, I do the best I could. Definitely. Came to, uh, keep in touch with my Trinity boys, 1972. And wow. <laughs> of course. And, you know, um, one of the things that uh, Kate, Kyla said was that, you know, her family is one of her biggest um, driving forces. Uh, what's your role in regards to Kyla's basketball career? Yeah, you know, I was told by my dad that I need to take care of my kids, you know, and that meant to me that I had to be there when they are there, you know, and so I've been with her. And almost every game uh, this year flew to the different states wherever she went i was always there encouraging her sending her texts before the game working on her mentally keeping her stable that's that's, that's my job as a dad yeah so you're like dad dad and coach at the same time yeah have to be yeah. <laughs> definitely definitely uh -huh. well guys it was such a pleasure chatting with you both this morning and uh, you know we want to wish you the best and of course be safe you and the entire family and, you know, just keep representing Trinidad and Tobago and the wider Caribbean on the whole and keep doing your thing. And on the other side of this, we have a lot to look forward to coming from you. Thank you. Yeah. I just want All to right. say one shout out. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, to Mario Davis. Um, over there, when, when we came to Trinidad, he had worked out my daughter, Trinidad. And then also to the Honorable... Uh, Philip Spencer, um, right. he actually came to one of our games also. So I appreciate all the support that we have. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Definitely. All right. Thank you, guys.